what's up guys learning with rich here in this video we are going to create an elevator pit okay so we are going to use structural walls and after that we're also going to use a slab okay so as you can see here so this is our floor plan for the uh, elevator pit plan let me just correct the spelling here so it should be elevator okay enter so that's the elevator pit plan it's this area here this one here so I just created a separate floor plan view for that and as you can see there is a CAD drawing here that serves as the uh, elevator location so I'm gonna select the AutoCAD drawing that was imported and then I'm just gonna hide that right click and then hide in view elements there you go and then there's also a, a symbolic line here symbolic lines that serves as the location or just a symbol of an opening okay and then this is the uh, opening okay so this is the 3d view so we are going to create here an elevator pit so the first thing that we will be doing is we're going to create a slab edge so from the structure foundation panel i'll be selecting here floor slab edge just click that and then you can check the properties Okay, so I only have one type of uh, slab edge here. So I'll be using that one. And then I'm going to hover my pointer to one of the edge there. And then I'm going to press tab once. And then it will highlight the chain of lines. So once you see it highlights the chain of lines. So just click that to place the slab edge. And there you go. Okay, so notice that the hidden lines represent the slab edge in the elevator pit view and the slab edge now is added to our section view so because we have a section view here which is uh, this one so there's your uh, slab edge added okay so also here on my uh, 3d view there's now our slab edge okay so you can select that one and then you can see that that is uh, 600 by 300 okay so that's the slab edge now the next thing that we will be doing is um we are going to create a slab okay so we're going to create a slab here so let's create here a slab oh i mean a wall first so after we create the wall we are going to create the slab so but first we create first the wall so let's go to let's go to structure wall wall is structural so i'm gonna select that one and then from the type selector we will be using uh, foundation 300 concrete so let's click this one and then i will be using here a location line of uh, finish face interior so i'll select that one okay and then for the base constraint so instead of uh, basement I'm going to set this to uh, first floor first floor and then for the base offset I want that I want the height to be 1200 from the uh, first floor level okay so the setting here is uh, depth and then from first floor our current level it will go down minus uh, 1200 okay and then also for the top constraint just make sure this is on first floor and the top offset here is minus 300 okay so i want that to be placed here bottom of my slab edge with the top offset of minus 300 okay so we are gonna use here rectangle so let's click that all right and then after that we're going to click the opening here this one so one and then two there you go see and then just select here modify okay so now the next thing that we will be doing we're going to close this one to finalize our elevator pit so we are going to add slab okay so let's do this again i will be doing that here on the floor plan so uh, structure foundation this time i will be using structural foundation slab so let's click that okay and then 
we will be using this one no other option so 300 concrete okay and then i'll be using here uh pick walls and then for the offset uh minus 1200 so meaning the uh, we're going to close we're going to create our slab to this face here minus 1200 so that's the height okay and then I'm now gonna use here pick walls and then I'm going to uh, hover my pointer to the exterior face of that wall and then again I'm gonna press tab once again it will highlight all the chain of walls so once it highlights click it to place your uh, sketch for the floor boundary and then just select modify then after that just select check here to finish and there you go uh, I don't like to load this uh, span direction symbol so that's why I'm gonna select here no and there you go okay just click outside and we just created our elevator pit so I'm gonna uncheck here the section box so we can see all the model and there you have it okay so there's our elevator pit so in this exercise we have learned how to use our structural foundation slab and slab edge and then we also use our wall structural okay so thank you for watching guys have a nice day